Over the past 12 months, we've seen a couple of Samoyeds winning best in shows at all breed championship shows, one of which belongs to this lady here, Val Freer. Thank you very much for joining us, Val. Thank you. Dan's now a multiple best in show winner, yeah. Crafts Reserve best in show winner. How have those sort of months and, and year been? Uh, pretty amazing. I mean, <laughs> still, we relive those times from Crufts. I yeah. mean, from him winning the group and on the final day to reserve best in show. I mean, it's been just amazing. And, and still, we're getting congratulations from people all around the world. And uh, like I say, the number of times I've seen that video of him winning, <laughs> it's just been truly amazing. We caught sight of you in tears at City of Birmingham when he was best oh, in show. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I can't imagine what you were like. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, that was one special day. Mm. I mean, it was just um, unbelievable, like I say, to uh, to have got my first best in show mm. with a Samoyed that I bred. You, you don't have to question, they've got a shimmering coat, yeah. beautiful smiling face. There's no doubt why the breed appealed to you in the first place. Ah, oh, well, yes, I mean, gosh, I've had Samoyeds now for 38 years, so yeah, just the one breed and they've always been very special and like you say, it's just the characteristics and they're absolutely super with children. I mean, I don't have children myself, but all my dogs, you know, they, they just love children, roll about the floor with them. Um, no problems at all, yeah, very friendly. And they, they do have very cheerful temperaments, a, a beautifully cheerful face. As yeah, well. that Sammy um, smile, yeah. Yes. <laughs> A Samoyed adult is, is cute enough, but a puppy just, oh. oh. Well, yeah, <laughs> heart melting, absolutely yeah, heart yeah. melting. Lovely bundles of fluff, but obviously <laughs> those bundles of fluff grow into a full-size dog that needs a lot of exercise and yeah. a lot of work on that coat. Now, take us back to the history of the breed. How, how did the breed come about? Well, originally from Siberia, they were used as uh, reindeer herders. Right. Um, then later they, they did use them for sleds, for pulling um, sort of cargo and whatever, but now their, their main function was to rain, herd reindeer. Right, so, okay. uh, and to live with the close family from the Samoyed people. Right. Um, they used to live in their tombs um, on the bottom of the bed, <laughs> and they still do that. <laughs> they still <laughs> like to sleep on the bottom of your bed, yeah. And of, of course you've had fantastic success in the show ring, but what about outside of the show ring? Are they used for working purposes as well? Absolutely, yes. There's a, a lot of people um, that do work the Samoys right. in harness. Um, a lot of people exercise them on bikes, you know, <laughs> to build the muscles up because at the end of the day they're a working dog yeah. and they need to be kept fit. But um, at the end of the day they enjoy it and it's, it's lovely sort of fun, therefore. great fun for them and, that, and they do love it, yeah, <laughs> that's right. And in the show ring with the glistening coat, they, they are a very appealing dog in the ring. Yeah. But they also appeal to people outside of the show ring just because of that, that yeah do they exactly make great pets? absolutely wonderful pets yes i mean like i say providing you're willing to put in the time to exercise them and to keep their coat in condition because you know without grooming it, the coats do get matted but no i mean they, they are really superb pets and very loyal um good good companion dogs yeah um, and what about someone looking for for a puppy what advice would you you give them before before picking a samoyed before picking a samoyed well obviously i suppose breed clubs are the first place to to go to mm. if you go to the secretaries of breed clubs they normally know where there's puppies available from right. reputable breeders the breeders will give them all the help they can with rearing the puppies and uh, you know obviously bringing them up and feeding them the right foods and whatever mm. Okay. So, uh, um, and throughout the, the past year and at Crufts, Dan was picking up fans by the barrel. Oh it? yes, Dan the man, yeah. Dan the man. <laughs> and we haven't seen a great deal of him this year. What are his plans? And, and no, he did come out after Crufts. He went to a, a breed club champ show and was best in show there. Uh, then we pulled him out. He had a bit of a rest. Um, in the meantime, his son, Harley, he's been made a champion. So okay. it's nice for him. He's won two tickets this year and made a champion. Um, and now there's another litter. I've got a young puppy that's coming out, so it's nice to see his progeny come through yeah, and, and follow on. You've always got to look forward to the next next level, you know. So. And uh, you had a little celebration here today. We've had a celebration, <laughs> yes. Bubbles and cake for Harley and his championship, yeah. So that was well, nice. Thank you very much for talking to us. A pleasure. Best thank of luck you for 2014, and we'll thank see you. you again soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.